How you guys doing? This is James at Ghostworks. Just wanted to go over a couple things. I get a lot of questions about um, gear wear and, and sleeve wear, what exactly needs to be changed. So I kind of wanted to do a quick like overview of a few things to look over. What I've done is I went ahead and washed everything because that actually is the best way to do it is to actually wash everything first because when everything has oil on it, it's kind of misleading. A lot of stuff still looks shiny. It can kind of still look like it's good, but once you wash it, it really shows the wear. So what I have here is a K20, notorious for second gear, gear failure. So I wanted to use this one as an example. So one of the first things I look for is the gear itself. So this is a second gear. And as you can see here, the teeth are all smashed over. Obviously bad. So what I did was I have a brand new piece so you can take a look at what it's actually supposed to look like. So as you can see, the teeth are sharp, they're at a point. Kind of gives you a reference at what to look for. So that's just one of the pieces. All these components work together. So if any of them are bad, oftentimes the rest of them are gonna be bad as well. So uh, let's take a look at the sleeve. So this is the second gear side. So same thing, you're gonna look at the inner teeth and you're gonna see the wear on each each one of the teeth there. They're kind of smushed over. And then I will uh, show you a brand new one. As you can tell, there's a big difference on all the teeth here. From there, I take a look at the synchro. The synchro ring, now commonly what everybody says is, oh, I need to replace my synchros. That's never the case. It's never just the synchro ring. Everything works together. So as I mentioned, if just the synchro is bad, it's probably gonna be the rest of it as well. So here is a, a synchro ring from that set. And as you can see, you can see this ring around it. So what this ring is from is when it's actually sitting on the gear and it's lost all its clearance to where it's all the way flat and it develops that ring. So basically the synchro is not doing anything at all. It's just completely flat. So that's why it starts to develop that ring on it. Lastly, the thing to look at is the center hub. The center hub is what the sleeve slides on. And that's what it goes over and selects the gear. So I don't know if you can see that. You can see the grooves in here. So a lot of people will just try to change the sleeve. If you just try to change the sleeve and you got these deep grooves in there, what's gonna happen is the new sleeve is gonna start to get caught in those grooves. So the best thing to do, obviously, is to change it with the rest of the components. So you have a nice clean surface to work with. So those are the, just a few things to, to look at. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick overview because the RSX and the Civic SI is something that I get questions about all the time. So I figured we would use that just as a reference point to kind of show you some of the things to look for. And there's also other things on transmission to look for, you know, bearing failure, um, you know, gears breaking, uh, fork wear. And I'll, I'll start to go over those as, as things progress. So you guys can see those things as well. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of a few things to look for, uh, for now. And if you guys have any questions, just feel free to DM me or email me any questions you guys have. All right, thank you.